Hey everyone, it's Mark Wiens with Migrationology.com. We just arrived to Koh Samui, which is the island in the south of Thailand. And we are sitting down for lunch now, and this is what I'm about to eat. We got this dish here, and this stir-fried fish, and then also this salad. We just came from Bangkok this morning and just arrived to Koh Samui and now sitting down for lunch. So keep watching this vlog. I'm gonna show everything with you now. Good morning, everyone. It's 5 a.m. We are in a taxi on our way to the airport now. Check-in was a breeze but the airport is pretty busy at this time and we are going to our gate uh, we're going to gate 77 and right now it is 5.45 so our flight leaves at 7 a.m. right Ying? This is a very unexpected trip uh, we just planned it about two days ago and a hotel contacted us in Koh Samui and asked us to come and review their hotel. Uh, so since I have never been to Koh Samui, we decided it would be a great idea to go. And so we have a couple nights in a hotel that will be sponsored. And then we're staying a couple more nights on our own. So we are at the airport now and there are two main ways to fly to Koh Samui from Bangkok. You can either take a direct flight, but I think there's only one or two airlines that offer that. Uh, but the, by far the cheaper way is to fly from Bangkok to the province called Surat Thani, which is the, the mainland province. And then from there you take a, from the airport there, you take a bus to the pier, and then you take a ferry to Koh Samui. Hopefully there will be some good seafood, and I will plan to vlog go on a little vlog marathon and vlog every day of this trip. Uh, so keep watching video, new videos every day. Okay, we're on the airplane now and the flight should take about an hour to get to Surat Thani. The flight was hassle-free and we got our bags quickly. Uh, and actually on our flight, we flew with Air Asia. They came around during the flight and they offered for us to buy the the combination bus and ferry ticket from directly from the airport to Koh Samui. So we bought that, it cost 400 baht. But they said altogether the bus and the ferry will take about three hours. The bus ride took about an hour and a half. Now we arrived at the pier. We have about 40 minutes until the ferry leaves, so we just decided to quickly grab a plate of food. And so Ying and I are just sharing a plate of khao gang uh, with gang som, which is a sour curry, and pork stir-fried with guppy, which is shrimp paste, and then a fried egg. And this will hold us over, hopefully, until we get to Samui. This is my world, step inside. We are walking to the ferry now. We're gonna board. And the ferry that we're taking is called Sea Tran. And it looks like there are a couple different places to sit. Maybe upstairs and in. Is this an. I think this is an AC room in here. I think we will choose to sit in the AC room and then maybe I can walk upstairs and take some photos later. But I just want to take a look upstairs to see what the other seating options are. Upstairs is just a big open deck. Uh, so I guess either, either downstairs or upstairs is nice, not bad. We just got off the boat in Samui and it took about an hour and a half. It's 12.30 now, so all in all from Bangkok we left at 7 a.m. and we have arrived at 12.30 so that took five, five and a half hours. From here you could take a Lotong Tao, which is the back of the truck transportation, or you could take a taxi, uh, but I think we are gonna find a restaurant in this area to eat lunch because we're pretty hungry and then from there we might take a Lotsong Tao. 
We are walking towards a restaurant called Jik Pochana. Restaurant is directly in front of us. I'm gonna begin with the gengsom. These are like little nuggets of fish. Put some of this onto my rice. Oh, meaty fish. And I need a little more soup curry to go with that. All right. That is hot, but very nice and salty. Um, it's a little bit sour. And then those coconut shoots sort of have a texture similar to bamboo shoots, but more crisp. Next up, I'll try the Blakapong Pad Pik Tai Dam, which is the uh, barramundi. And it's deep fried, stir then stir fried with black pepper and green pepper and garlic and, and onions. Let me set that into, looks like the same exact chunks of fish in the gengsom as in this dish which I am okay with. All right. Mmm, that fish is really good. Very meaty, it's a little bit salty, a little bit sweet, and has a nice black pepper flavor to it. Okay, and finally, let me take a bite of the yam wun sen, which are, is a mung bean noodle salad. Um, mushrooms in here, and onions, and tomatoes, and squid. Is that a piece of squid or an onion? Okay, I think that's a piece of squid. I'll take that on my bite. It's a little bit on the sweet side for me. Um, not the best version that I've had, but okay. Um, that squid is very tender, and then the mung bean noodles have a, have just a really slippery texture to them. That was okay. Not the best food we've had. Uh, but that did hit the spot because we were hungry and the Geng Som was definitely good. And we are now walking back to try and catch a Rotsong Tail, which is the back of the truck kind of pickup transportation uh, to go to our hotel. We are waiting for Rotsong Tail and a motorcycle fruit truck has pulled up, so it's time to get some fruit. Call Saparot Kapying. The friendly fruit motorbike man told us that it will take a long time for the the ride to for the Lotong Tao to arrive there, so he told us to walk back into the town and we're going to a beach called Menam, which is right at the northern part of, of Samui. I guess we were just one parking lot over from the Rotsong Tao station, so here they are, and now we just gotta look for Menam. That breeze immediately feels wonderful. Here where the sun is shining. We got off the Song Tao right in front of Santi Puri, and this is the hotel we're gonna stay at. They have invited us to stay for a couple of nights, and so this is a very high end resort. That palm tree breeze greeting is beautiful. Sadikab. Uh, check in for Mark Wiens. Kap. Oh, this way. Kap We're just getting checked in now and about to go to our villa. Oh, breakfast is served right here. That's an important place to know. It's so quiet and peaceful. The first thing I'm gonna do is make myself a coffee if I can figure out how to use this machine. Oh, here's the... Conpresso, okay, that looks all right. Just got into our room and the first thing I did was make a cup of coffee. But I think this is probably, well, probably most definitely the nicest room that I have ever stayed in in my life. Over here on the right side is a TV as well as the beverage station. Then over here is a little bit of a, a relax room and that's where I was drinking my coffee, right there. Oh, and Ying, Ying just closed these doors to make the grand opening to the room. In here is the bedroom, which is amazing. <laughs> but the most impressive thing about this room is the bathroom. I don't even know if I begin to know what all the bathroom does. And then over here is the sinks. But the most amazing part of this whole room is the secret 
door, you go through this shower, and then you come out this door, and it is a private outdoor jacuzzi. That is the tour of our room, uh, but the manager just said that she booked a spa treatment for us at 4 p.m., which is coming up in about 30 minutes. I'm right outside of our room right now, and right behind me, that is our room. There is a patch of palm trees and grass, and then right over here is the beach. Extreme bliss, peace, and quietness, and extremely beautiful as well. We are on our way back to the reception because it's almost time for our spa treatment, and it looks like the perfect time for a spa too because it looks like it's about to rain. But I think I have only done a spa treatment about maybe once or twice in my life, so this should be a very relaxing and enjoyable time. They said I'm having the hot rock massage and this is something I have never done before in my life. Choose which oil to use, right? <laughs> I'm about to put on some little underwear in a plastic bag and that gown. Ying has already started her spa massage therapy and I am getting ready to lay in the bed. I cannot wait for this. So I am gonna turn off the camera now and I'll see you in an hour and a half. I cannot believe an hour and a half just went by. It felt like a few seconds and that was incredible. I think it felt like I just woke up from a dream. Uh, like I was flying on a cloud, but that was amazing and it's still drizzling outside So that was a perfect time to be in the spa It's, it's 7 p.m. We're at dinner now, and we are sitting in the sand Right along the beach. It's peaceful. This is absolutely a stunning environment. And Ying is holding her iPhone up there for light. <laughs> Thank you, Ying. Thank you, Cop. I think this is their international restaurant. For starters, I ordered the tuna salad. And so it's salad on the top and then looks like lightly seared pieces of tuna. This seared tuna is just unbelievably good. And then with that balsamic and uh, sesame dressing. Oh, it is incredible. It just melts in my mouth. For our main course, we got a pizza. It's been quite a while since I've had pizza. Nice and salty. And then I like those olives on it. Okay, and then the red snapper. Oh, oh that firmness. And I, some juices just um, came out of it when I squeezed that, when I pressed down. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice on there. Fresh fish is still one of my favorite things in the world and just eat it with no sauce on it first. Really fresh fish, and then just with that squeeze of lime juice, has a nice grilled flavor. That was an excellent meal, and just a fantastic atmosphere. We're back in the room now, and I'm gonna start editing this vlog, as well as doing a little bit of work, so I will end it here and thank you very much for watching the vlog of today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you on the next vlog. Oh, next vlog coming tomorrow. I'll be making a daily vlog while I'm here in Got Samui. Um, and then, yeah, so keep coming back. Thank you for watching. Bye.